Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to RealClearPolling.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Hello everyone! It is your highly illustrious, ever-perfected President Ross, and it is November 5th, 2024. It is Election Day in the USA, and we have live results from RealClearPolling.com. It has Donald J. Trump, at 48.5% in the Electoral College top battleground states to Kamala Harris's 47.7%. He is barely ahead by a whisker at 0.8 in the Electoral College. We are going to fill in the beautiful map according to these polls conducted last on November 5th this morning. We have, as always, the blue states which are for Kamala Harris and bloated Biden, Timothy Walls. We're going to fill those in with you. They are Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, New Mexico and Colorado, the littlest district of Nebraska, Minnesota with 10. We got Illinois with 19. We got New York and Maine's littlest district, Virginia, as well as New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Maryland, Rhode Island, and D.C. This also means we have Maine at large is for Kamala Harris, M-E-A-L-2, top right. That gives her 226 electoral votes right off the bat. Reds are for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Those states are Montana with four, Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, Alaska, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, most of Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and Nebraska at large, and Maine's second district. This gives Donald J. Trump 219 electoral votes and Kamala Harris 226. She has a lead by a whisker. That leaves the battleground slash swing states up for grabs at 93 toss-up votes. These are the states that will determine the 2024 election. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know now. We have Nevada with six electoral votes, Arizona with 11 electoral votes, Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes, Michigan with 15 electoral votes, Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes, North Carolina with 16 electoral votes, and Georgia with 16 electoral votes. Up first is Nevada. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a .6 lead in Nevada, making Nevada Red for Donald J. Trump. He closes in on the gap at 225 to Kamala's 226 with a one difference. After Nevada is Arizona. According to Real Clear Polling, Trump has a 2.8 lead in Arizona, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump. I do have some information coming out of Arizona that I will be bringing up later in the video. Next up is Wisconsin. According to RealClearPolling.com, Harris has a .4 lead in Wisconsin, making Wisconsin blue for Kamala Harris, giving her the 10 electoral votes. They are both tied at 236 to 236. Michigan with 15 electoral votes. According to RealClearPolling.com, Kamala Harris has a .5 lead in Michigan, making Michigan in its 15 electoral votes blue for Kamala Harris. Up next after that is the beautiful Georgia Peach State. And according to RealClearPolling.com, the 16 electoral votes in Georgia go to Trump, who has a 1.3 lead in the state, making Georgia red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina with its 16 electoral votes, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 1.2 lead in North Carolina, making North Carolina Red for Donald J. Trump. Now the big one, Pennsylvania. The state that both candidates need in order to win easily and without any concern. 
RealClearPolling.com has Trump in a 0.4 lead, making Pennsylvania red for Donald J. Trump, making Donald J. Trump the winner with 287 electoral votes to Kamala Harris's 251. So I do have some information about Arizona. There are some reports that have been going on for about a month about voter rolls where Arizona and its board of electors in Maricopa County of all places, you all remember Maricopa County in 2020 where mysteriously machines were going down, votes weren't being counted, Trump votes were being swapped to Joe Biden, the ballot boxes were happening in all the weird states in the middle of the night. Maricopa County now has a whole bunch of issues verifying citizenship and they're going to add these unverifiable citizenship ca claims cases to the voter rolls. They reinstated over 90,000 um, unconfirmable citizenship um, claims for voter voting rolls. Sorry about that. But yeah, so it's happening again in 2024. But don't worry, nothing shady is going on. Nothing, you can't question it. You can't question why. You can't question how. Don't worry, our elections are secure and they are trustworthy. Oh yeah, don't worry. The same shit's happening again. Also in Pennsylvania, just like in 2020, magically the machines are down in like two or three counties. Republican counties, no less. They're magically down. And they have voted and gotten an emergency order to extend voting until 8 o'clock. So watch. Trump will be way ahead come time for the votes to originally end at 6. And then by 8 o'clock, he'll be down in Pennsylvania. It is 2020 all over again. It is okay to question the election when shady shit keeps happening. Patterns should not be ignored. You don't ignore patterns for your partner or your husband or wife or your girlfriend or boyfriend or from your parents or anyone in your family or your friends. Shady is shady. Patterns matter. You can't say patterns don't matter in elections if they matter everywhere else in your life. This is some shady stuff. We will see if Pennsylvania flips to Kamala Harris because of the extension. That will be the biggest, biggest reason for people questioning this election too is the shady stuff going on in Arizona and the shady sh stuff once again going on in Pennsylvania. I am President Ross. And I'm Bags. And she is out. In.